Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Bona Yesu as if he were praise the Lord, Bona Yesu as if he were welcome back again in this amazing episode of the Minute Erastas, your host, here in Erastas Talk Show, your number one talk show in Africa, your number one talk show in Africa, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, 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 feel welcome. This is home, this is home of encouragement, transformation, motivation, and 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 we can't get up enough to tell you that um, you are better, to tell you that you are better, you are created by God with a purpose, you are created by God with an assignment, you are somebody, you are not a nobody you are somebody with assignment, you are somebody, you are not a nobody and everybody is somebody here in Erasa Talk Show and this is a big announcement that uh, we are tuning again, we are switching on to another, remember we have been doing on our, our of, a six, of almost a 70 videos that we be doing the stories also encouraging us all from the Bible but this is another feast therefore we'll be combining two that we are where we are going to need a life of a celebrity and also we deduct lessons from the them because ladies and gentlemen I've come to realize that you don't have to criticize everything really if you criticize everything it can be your teacher let me say this, that everything can be at your teacher. You can learn from anything. You can learn from everybody. But ladies and gentlemen, let us not criticize everything, even what we have not become. If God placed somebody at the top, he didn't place them at the top in vain. Because as the Bible says, with honor to do, honor is due, ladies and gentlemen. Therefore, if God bestowed honor to one somebody, you have to honor for you to be honored in future because you will not die and honored and therefore ladies and gentlemen if somebody has lived a life until they are the top that means there is so very much things that you can learn there are very many things that you can learn from their lives there are many things you can learn from their lives there are many things you can stand from their lives there are many things you can stand from their lives and therefore because life is a journey life is a process and we are in a a time of depression, we are in a time of stress um, and so many stress of life because things are not working or maybe they are not moving. But if you take a case stand of somebody who realizes that they didn't rise up in the morning and they become what they are today. They rose from somewhere. Some of them rose from the, the lowest families in their village. Some of them rose from the lowest institution from, the, from, their, from their counties. But today they are the top. Some of them they have a very good story and the painful stories. Therefore, if you compare their stories with them, ladies and gentlemen, you will be encouraged automatically. You will be encouraged automatically. Therefore, we don't have really have, we don't have really to to to, to criticize everything every everybody and hate everything about everybody that is at the top. We don't have always to be waking up tomorrow every day to be looking up uh, nanya memes, nanya and so and so so and so nanya melala and so and so and forgetting that this is a life that is well lived and we can't really detect something here. Instead of me kuchurumi amigi, I can take what they are doing and take their journey and get encouraged and tomorrow wake up without me sleeping in a kuchurumia sana and I just go and work myself out and ladies and gentlemen this is what we are bringing in in the rest of store in the rest of show and remember here we say that what God can do to earn, he can do to all because God is never limited. God is never limited. You cannot limit God. If God lifted me, he can lift you. If God lifted somebody, he can lift you. What you need to do is encourage yourself with the life of somebody. If somebody does his life like this, you can take it as a cushion in your life through experience. You can take it as a cushion in your life or you can take it as a lesson. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, let us not criticize every day. Let us also have some points to learn from the life that we see on social media. Yes, people say social media is a form of a, is a platform of entertainment. I don't refuse that. People say that social media is a point of or is a platform of entertainment. You don't have to take anything serious. But yes, you don't have to take anything serious. But there are some past aspects that you can deduct that are so positive from a life of person and you come and they try to impose them in your life and they work. 
if, if you don't have really to take everything here yes, serious, but there are some things you can take from a life. For example, if today you was feeling yourself depressed because you feel like maybe you came from the poorest, poorest family, maybe you cannot make it, and you just go and hear a story of somebody that really came from so far than even you are, and you see them at the top, automatically you'll be encouraged, you walk out, you will be empowered, and your tomorrow will be better, you face tomorrow like nothing else happened. And therefore, ladies and gentlemen, you don't have to criticize everything, and therefore, in our second phase of our content, we are going to be looking at every celebrity. You bring us the celebrity of your type, and we are going to talk and internalize how has their life been, their social life, their spiritual life, do they really acknowledge God? Therefore, if they do that and they are the top, that tells you that if they say it's gone, therefore that tells you the best driver to your destiny is God. If they say also the driver to their to their level is and work, that tells you nothing comes easy. Also, we have to work on the two ones here and get me clear that we are going to be encouraged, we are going to be empowered, we are going to be transformed through here in this um, in this platform. In this platform, uh, here in a Rasta's talk show, your number one talk show in Africa. You don't have to criticize everything, you don't have to hate everybody. Slaves are there to learn. You can learn as a caution, you can learn as an um, encouragement, you can learn as an advice, you can learn to be transformed. It's so many things. Life is dynamic. Life, you cannot force it on one side because everybody's a mess. We mess daily. Our pastor never good. I'm careful if we agree, our pastor never good. Our pastor never hundred percent acceptable. Yes, we agree that. And therefore, your past are like that. We don't have to be looking somebody's past. Let us look how they have been. Our past as how their past can encourage us, not how our past can force us to aid them. Ladies and gentlemen, not how their journey to greatness can make us. Therefore, it's them. Therefore, let their journey to greatness be an encouragement, be a transformation point, be an advice to us, be I uh, hope uh, 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 trust giving us open our hearts and in our mind uh, that there is tomorrow and tomorrow can be better and tomorrow can be better ladies and gentlemen uh, and therefore that has been um, uh, why we are distending the celebrities here in this channel and that is why we are doing that by the grace of God as God is helping us in a Russell's talk show, your number one talk show in Africa ladies and gentlemen um, stay tuned as you watch stay tuned as you watch daily daily Daily, daily, as we appear to you, the one encouragement of through setting alive and those coming with you with the word of the Lord from the scripture through the stories of the Bible here in the Rasta Stock Show. I always feel blessed to be here. We love you. I thank God for you. I appreciate you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Until next time, we meet again in the next episode. Bye bye. See you.